Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Lefty from Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw in a large circle. So we start from the very top and we'll work our way around to the bottom and then up to the top. Now let's leave a small gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So I want to line up the top of the circle down to the bottom and back up towards the top. Let's add the upper eyelid. Starting on the left side, I'm going to draw a curve that goes across from left to right. I'm going to go up in the middle and then back down. I want to do the same thing on the right. So lining this up, curving up and then down. Now over on the left side, I'm going to draw a small circle for the iris and pupil. So we're going to shift this in slightly from the top. Now over on the left side, I'm going to draw a small circle right up against the edge of the eye for a highlight. And then, then in the center of the iris, I'm going to draw a smaller circle for the pupil. So I'm going to tuck this in behind the highlight. Just going to leave an even space gap all the way around. And I'm going to fill the pupil in black. Let's go over to the right side and fill this eye in black as well. Let's move in towards the center and draw the nose. So at the top, we're going to draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Now on the sides, we're going to come straight down towards the bottom of the nose. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. And then I'm going to fill the nose in black. Now we're going to draw on the top edge of the muzzle. Starting from the side of the nose, we're going to curve across bottom edge of the eye and then come straight down the side. Do the same thing on the right, curving across and then pulling that down. Now from the bottoms we're going to curve down and up towards the middle. So on the left we're going to curve down and pull that up. Do the same thing on the right side. And then from the center I'm going to draw a straight line going up towards the bottom of the nose. Let's add three spots on either side of the muzzle. Starting from the left we're going to draw one at the top come down and draw one and two on the side. Now we're going to move down and draw the top row of teeth. From the corner of the muzzle, I'm going to step in, draw a straight line coming down on either side, and then I'm going to go straight across from left to right. Let's go ahead and separate out the teeth. In the center, we'll draw one straight line coming down. Now in between these two lines, I'm going to step in the middle, draw another line, do the same thing on the right. Let's draw on the sides of the cheek. So from the bottom of the muzzle, I'm going to curve out the cheek and then pull that in towards the eye, leaving a gap on the side. So I'm going to go out, round this out, and then pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Curving out, rounding out the cheek, and then pulling that in. Now I want to connect these two points with the top of the head. It's almost like a large half oval. Start by going straight up. Now I'm going to curve this in towards the top of the head round it out and then come down on the right side. Let's give him some cheeks. Starting on the left side, I'm going to curve in, down and out towards the side. Up above the eyes, we're going to add in the eyebrow. So above the left eye, I'm going to start on the outside, we're going to curve up and then in. Line this up on the right side and do the same thing, curving out and then down. From the inside, I'm going to draw two lines going straight up. And then from the outside, I'm going to draw two shorter lines going up. I'm going to connect the outside to the inside with a curve going up and then in. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now we're going to add a hat at the top of the head. So on either side, we're going to draw a short line going up the side of the hat. Now we connect those two points with a curve. Just follow the same curve of the head going across. 
Now from the top, we're going to step in and draw two straight lines going up towards the top of the hat. Let's close off the top with a curve from left to right going up and then down. Now off to the side of the head, we're going to draw two circles for the ear. So starting on the left side, draw that circle going around and then back in. Let's line this up on the right side, starting out here. Draw that same size circle. Now I want to trace these circles on the inside, so leaving an even space gap all the way around. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's move down and draw on the lower jaw. So underneath the cheek on the left, I'm going to curve down and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to connect these two points with a curve, coming down and then up. Let's draw on the lower row of teeth. We're going to step up. We're going to draw on that same curve going across. Let's fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now we're gonna go in and separate out the teeth, starting with the center line. Now we're gonna draw two more lines on either side. Then over on the right. Now let's draw in the lower part of the jaw. From the top of the mouth, we're gonna step out, round out the side of the jaw, and come in. We do the same thing on the right side. Now from here, I just wanna curve down in the middle. Now we're gonna pull that back up on the right side, curving around and then up. Now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start on the sides of the body first. Starting on the left, I'm going to curve out and down towards the hip on the left, and then on the right. Now we're going to connect these two points with a curve, coming down and then back up. Now we're going to add the bow tie just underneath the chin. We're going to start with a small half circle. On the left side, I'm going to curve down and then out toward the left, and then the right. Now from the left side, I'm just gonna curve up and then in underneath the chin. Let's add a star in the center of the body. So from the bow tie, we're gonna step down, start with a point in the middle. We're gonna angle down towards the left and right. Now from the sides, we're gonna go straight out and across. Let's pull this back in with an angled line. Now I'm gonna come down and out now we're going to pull this back in towards the center, towards the center point. Now from the bottom corners of the bow tie, I just want to follow the same curve of the body, coming out and then down towards the hip. Now let's round out the side of the hip. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve out and then in. And then from here we're going to curve in and then down towards the center point. So starting on the left, we'll curve in and then down back up towards the right side. Now we're going to continue working down with the legs. From the center, I want to curve down and out toward the left, and then the right. Let's go back out towards the hip. We're going to curve in the opposite direction, curving out and then in. Now I'm going to connect these two points with a slight curve, going down the middle and then back up. We're going to add the lower part of the leg. Starting from the inside on the left, curve in and then down towards the ankle on both sides. Now we're going to go to the outside and curve in the opposite direction, going out and then down. Then again, we're going to connect these two points with another curve, going down and up. Let's add in the knees. Starting from this point, we're going to draw a half circle, coming down and then back up. Go back to the heel. From this point, I'm going to curve in and then down. Do that on both sides. Now let's round out the bottom of the feet. From the left heel, I'm going to curve down and then up towards the toe. And then from here, we're going to curve up and in towards the outside of the ankle. So we're going to go up and then pull that in. Now we're going to draw on the toes. About halfway along this curve, we're going to curve in 
and then down towards the bottom of the foot. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm just gonna separate out the toes. We're gonna draw two curves on the inside. Starting with the left and then the right. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. I'm gonna start with the shoulders first. So from the chin, I'm gonna step down, curve out, and then up underneath the head on both sides. Let's draw on the upper arm. Starting from the inside, I'm gonna curve down and out. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's go to the outside and curve in the opposite direction. Curving out and then down. I'm gonna connect these two points. Just curving in and down. Now the arm on the left is gonna be hanging down. So we start with the inside corner, curve in and back out towards the wrist. And then on the other side, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction down towards the same height. Now let's connect these two points with the curve, coming down and back up. Let's add in the hand. I'm gonna start from the inside of the wrist. We're gonna draw a small half circle with the thumb. At the end of the thumb, I'll draw a bracket. Now at the bottom of the thumb, I'm gonna curve down and up the first finger. We're gonna add two more fingers on the side. We step down, curve down and up the second finger. Now on the side, we're gonna curve around and then up towards the wrist. Now the arm on the right is gonna be holding the microphone, so it's gonna be bent out. Starting at the top, curve up and then down towards the wrist. Now at the elbow, we're gonna curve down. We're gonna curve down and up, lining this up along the side. Now let's connect these two points with a curve, coming in and back out. From the top of the wrist, I'm gonna draw on the thumb. So we're gonna draw a curve, going up, down. Now we're gonna round out the thumb and go back up. We're gonna add the palm, I'm just gonna hook this in. Now we're gonna stack three fingers along the side. Starting on the side of the thumb, I'm gonna start with an oval. Now we're gonna add two more. more along the bottom. Let's add the lower part of the microphone. The bottom of this finger, we're going to add two straight lines coming down. Close off the bottom with a curve. Now we're going to go up above the first finger and draw a large circle. Just up above the finger, leaving a little space. Now I'm going to extend these two lines up above the finger in behind that circle. Now back on the wrist, we're going to curve down and in behind the microphone back up. The last thing we're going to do is add the bottom tip of the microphone. Inside these two points, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down. We'll close it off with a straight line. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Lefty from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.